chloroethene, the structure here, is prepared in the presence of a solid catalyst using this equilibrium reaction, which we can see here below. And the enthalpy change for the forward reaction here is plus 51 kilojoules per mole. And we need to identify which change will result in an increased equilibrium yield of our chloroethene. So let's go through these options and see which one will give us the increased yield for chloroethene. So because we've got an equilibrium, we can use our Le Chatelier's principle here to help us with our conditions. And Le Chatelier's principle states that when an equilibrium is subjected to change of conditions, it will shift and favour the reaction which reduces the effects of that change. So, for example, if we increase the pressure of our equilibrium system, then the equilibria will favour the reaction which reduces that pressure back down again. And for our system here, the reverse reaction will be favoured because this produces the smallest number of moles. Because we produce one mole in the reverse reaction and the forward reaction produces two moles. So therefore, increasing our pressure will not increase our equilibrium yield of chloroethene. So we can eliminate option A. Now we we're told that we're using a solid catalyst here. And because we've got a gaseous system, that means that this is a heterogeneous catalyst. But increasing our surface area of this catalyst will increase the rate of reaction for both the forward and the reverse steps. So overall, we will not get an increased yield of our chloroethene because although we're increasing the rate, we're increasing it for both of the reactions, the forward and the reverse. So our overall effect will just cancel out. And using a homogeneous catalyst will not have an effect in the sense of increasing our equilibrium yield of chloroethene because it will affect both the forward and the reverse reactions. So it will not favor one reaction over the other. But increasing our temperature will favor our forward reaction. And this is because our forward reaction is endothermic. So if we increase the temperature of our system, then this will be absorbed by the forward reaction and decrease the temperature back down again. It will restore that equilibrium with the conditions. Therefore, we will get that increased equilibrium yield of chloroethene, so our answer is going to be C.